y'all. This is Christy with Christy's Creations. Welcome back to my kitchen. I think everyone needs a signature cake that they can take to any function and it's an immediate success. And this one is mine for me. It's a coconut pecan pound cake and it is so light and fluffy. It has a really great texture because of the coconut and the pecans. Most pound cakes are really dense, but this one isn't. It's just a beautiful, light, fluffy cake, and I think you would love it if you gave it a try. So stick, stick around and see the ingredients that I used and the process that I used to make it, and at the end, I'll give you information about the recipe. Ingredients are listed in the description below. There's a picture of the recipe at the end if you want to take a screenshot. Liberally spray a tube pan with baking spray. I prefer one that includes flour. Add your sugar and your oil into your mixing bowl. And this is a cool little scraper paddle. Um, it really prevents it from sticking to the sides. I ended up ordering it online because I couldn't find it in any stores. So you mix the sugar and the oil while you're cracking the eggs into a bowl and then lightly beat them. And then you'll add the eggs and beat while you get the other ingredients together. So I'm using baking uh, flour. So we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And since I am using the um, baking flour, I'm not gonna sift all the ingredients together. I'll lightly uh, combine them in just a second. Right about now, I realized I had not shaken the buttermilk and it all had sunk to the bottom. So just give it a really good shake. And then we're just gonna alternate the flour and the buttermilk until we're uh, done, just about a third at a time. And while that's mixing, I wanna tell you about this recipe. So one Christmas I was at my aunt's house and um, I tried uh, this cake for dessert. And as soon as I tried it, I went to my aunt and I was freaking out. I was like, this is so good. Did you make it? Cause I really want this recipe. And she's like, no. Um, Barbara made it and Barbara was my uncle's sister um, and her husband had passed away that year and she normally would not have been there that year but um, since he had passed away she had um, come to the event and um, I just told her how much I loved it and asked her if she would give me the recipe and she's like yeah sure but I don't remember it off the top of my head and I said well I have stamps and I'm sure my aunt and uncle have um, envelopes so can I give you um, a self-addressed stamped envelope and you mail it to me later and she said yeah sure and she did and I was so excited even more so because it's in her own handwriting and at the end I'll show you a picture of that and you can pause and take a screenshot if you want to so you have the recipe and the ingredients but like I said it is in the description below so you just add the flavoring the coconut and the pecans give it a little mix and then um you know, add it to your tube pan. Then you'll stick it into your preheated oven. And it cooks for 65 minutes total. Um, but what I like to do about 55 minutes in is I will start getting the ingredients together for the glaze and I'll start making that. And usually by the time all that's done, there's a minute or two left before you actually have to pull the cake out of the oven and then your glaze is ready to pour on top of your cake 
and that's one of the big steps because it really gives it that nice coating um, it's just so so good So these are the ingredients for the glaze. And no, I did not actually use Dasani water, but water in a measuring cup just looks like a measuring cup. So I wanted to convey that, <laughs> use water. So anyway, you just mix this up for um, five minutes. You gotta cook it and stir it constantly or it'll, it'll burn. Um, and you'll see here, I ended up getting my glove cause it got super hot. Just keep stirring. I would have sped that up even further, but you should have seen that. It like made me dizzy. So after you get it out of the oven, you just pour that glaze over it and it'll just absorb in there. It does take a little while to absorb. I ended up speeding that process up because I thought it'd be a really cool visual, um, some cinematic uh, greatness, but it just looks like stuff absorbing into a cake. <laughs> And so this is um, something that I always do. I always, you know, scrape the sides. And because I use that bacon spray with the flour in it, it hardly stuck at all. But I still do it no matter what. But that, when you use that stuff, it really prevents it from sticking. Otherwise, you really, you may have to scrape it pretty well because the sugar will harden up against the, uh, the tube pan. But you'll see here when I turn it over, just barely even... Um, you know stuck it all it didn't stick at all actually at all I just did it anyway so you just put it onto a plate and then put that onto the serving dish and then adjust it so it looks all pretty and that's it and then just slice it up and look how pretty it is when it comes out. We were doing little bitty slices here. And there's the recipe. If you want to pause and take a so picture. So that's it, you guys. It's really easy to make. I think if you gave it a try, you would love it. And um, if you do end up trying it, leave me a comment to let me know what your thoughts are about it. That's some Betty Crockett shit right there, baby. Better than Betty, man. <laughs>